How's it going you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this Gucci original baseball cap. I ordered mine from Gucci.com. Anything you buy from Gucci.com they will not leave in your front door. They do require a signature and the label does not state that it comes from Gucci. It did come in one day. I ordered it Monday morning. I received it Tuesday morning which is pretty awesome. I didn't pay any extra shipping or anything like that. That's how the shipping comes from Gucci. All right, guys, so let's get to the unboxing. As soon as you open up the box, as you can see, there is a Gucci label right on the inside of the packaging, which is a really nice touch. It's really unnecessary, but it is nice to see. Now the box, as you can see, is all white with the Gucci label. Now they did change from the original brown Gucci boxes they used to have. I believe in 2015 or 2016 even the ribbon is really nice has Gucci all over it one thing I forgot to show was that the box has three magnets in there which is a really nice touch now even the dust bag has a Gucci label Now the hat does come with a lot of tags. Now it does have a Gucci tag as you can see right here with the Gucci serial number. You also get another booklet which is in all different languages and there's also a Gucci tag, another Gucci tag in there. And inside the hat you have a Gucci label that states that it's made in Italy in different languages. And then you have your Gucci strap which is made out of Velcro. And on the sides you have your original Gucci stripes. On the inside you can see there's another Gucci label. And on the inside of the strap it says Gucci and made in Italy and also has the serial number. Now I just want to mention a quick thing now when it comes to sizing a lot of people get confused because the hat states that it's adjustable as you can see right here but also when you go to the website to purchase the hat they have different sizes to select so that's kind of confusing why would it be adjustable if you have different sizes but simple answer to that this strap right here as you can see I'll open it up for you guys get a closer look there's only a bit of an opening leather right here the rest is velcro we have the inner and the outer velcro for it to stick so for example let's say my head was pretty huge and i wanted to go all the way open like this you'll have this opening right here of the velcro which will look tacky you know for for an expensive hat you don't want to have that look so as you can see you want it to be nice and even that way you can hide the velcro put it like so as you can see it looks nice and clean like this adjusting it they really mean just this little gap right here this little gap leather you can go from tight super tight to a little bit loose just by placing this metal between this leather gap right here this is the only adjustable part you really have i would say just about an inch so if you have a bigger head then then what you can adjust here then you will need to size up now prior to purchasing this hat I did have a measure tape and I measured my head just using the measure tape you want to start from your forehead to the widest part of your head now if you go to gucci.com and you click on the hat and right below where it says hat size guide you can see 
the size in, in inches and centimeters. Now I measured my head in inches and I got about 22. Now according to Gucci, 22 is a size small. I was about 22.1. So I went ahead and, and ordered the small. The small is 22.4. So a lot of people tend to wear their hats a little bit loose, but for me, I like it nice and tight. So I went ahead and got the correct measurements to my head so I can get a nice and tight fit. As you can see right here, it's not too tight on here. It's not like that it's hurting me but it's just nice and snug. Most people when they wear these hats, they'll get dimples right here on the top. Reasoning for that, that's because the hat is a little bit big for you. You need to size down so you won't be able to, so you can be able to avoid these dimples right here on top. Now for me, I have them right here on the side, but over time, they'll fix up and they'll straighten up. Also wear it backwards. Now I personally don't like to wear it backwards. It's not my niche. You can wear it however you like. Some people like to wear it just on their crown, like so. This is that dad look, you know, this is that, this is actually that grandpa look, and then this is that dad look. And you can wear it with that dad look where you just put it on your head like so. But for me, I like to wear it nice and tight. All right, guys, thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And comment below, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. I would love to get back to you guys. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Peace.